depends on what you do. So he said, if you want me to heal the land, let me tell you that you've got to do something. If my people, my people, not the politicians, not the elected officials, not Barack Obama, if my people, y'all, us, we's, us, tongue talking, come on somebody, hand clapping, time to time, a shoe, a shoe, peppermint candy, eat, come on, Honda, us tongue talking, hand clapping folk, if my people, that are called by my name would humble themselves. First, we have to humble ourselves and pray. Yeah, yeah. We have to stick our chest back in and submit ourselves to the will of God. We have to come down out of the clouds and let our feet walk on the earth again. And once we find ourselves to be humble, I don't care how many degrees you got, humble yourself. I don't care how much money you got, Humble yourself. I don't care how many thousands of members you have. Humble yourself. And once we find ourselves to be humble, that's when we can bow down. The only way we seek God is to be humble. Oh God, help me preach this thing. What are you talking about? We've got to humble ourselves in order to get to the throne of God. How was the last time you humbled yourself enough to bow down on your rusty knees before an almighty God? Humble yourselves and pray every now and then. Even when nothing is going wrong, we ought to pray. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know how to pray when things are going wrong. But, but, but when the telephone bill has already been paid, we ought to pray. When our house note and our car note are not in delinquent status, we ought to pray. When we're still in good health and we can use both our arms and our legs and wiggle all ten fingers and all ten toes, uh, we ought to keep on praying. Prayer is always in order. And I like what the Apostle Paul tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. He tells us to pray without ceasing. And that means never stop praying. Songwriter said, saints, don't stop praying. For the Lord is nigh. Don't stop praying. He'll hear your cry. The next thing we must do after praying, look at somebody say, he's almost done. Say, don't worry about it. He'll get off our toes in a minute. Next thing we got to do is seek the face of God and turn from our wicked ways. In other words, we must stop doing all of those things that don't honor God or don't honor our witness as being God's children. And we've got to start trying to be more like Jesus. For Jesus tells us, although we are in this world, we are not of this world. And we need to know today that if we're still living in ways that hurt our brothers and sisters in ways that are selfish and self-serving we may not be able to get a bomb that morning train to glory and once we've lived up to our responsibility and we've done what God wants us to do second Chronicles 7 14 says that God will hear from heaven God will hear from heaven now let me go down a dangerous road here and I'm going to try to connect something. I used to hear this prayer, this, 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 this text all of the time uh, when they said that, that, that God does not hear sinners. And, and that text to me was always theologically incorrect because first of all, Jesus never did say it. Amen. It was those who were trying to... Uh, minimize the divinity of Jesus when he healed the blind man and the blind man said that, that Jesus healed me and he said well this man is a sinner and we know God hears not sinners pray Amen. But, the, but, but the Bible does tell us 
that if our heart is filled with iniquity, that God does not hear us. And so what I found out after some further research is that what God does hear you say is forgive me. Come on, somebody. You see, when we regard iniquity in our heart, it hinders our prayers. And so the only prayer God is looking to hear from us is to get it right with him. Come on. And so he says in this particular text, after you've humbled yourselves and prayed, and after he has forgiven, come on, then God will hear from heaven. See, 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 the first thing God wants to hear from heaven is to hear us get it right with him. Come on, you, you cannot have it wrong with your brothers and sisters and think that we've got it right with God. Can you love God who you ain't never seen and hate your brother and your sister that you see every day? And we wonder why our prayers are hindered. I can't stand him. I can't stand her. But Lord bless me. And God is standing up there looking at you like you crazy. Y'all looking at me funny here. The first prayer ought to be, Lord, forgive me. If I've got art with my brothers and sisters, if I've mistreated them, if I've spoken to them in the wrong way, if I've done anything wrong, Lord, please forgive me. Brothers and sisters, we've got to get it right with God ourselves before God will ever hear our prayers about everything else that we're seeking from him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, God wants to hear us from heaven. And how many of you know today that if God hears our cry, then everything will be all right? Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't care what we've been through. I don't care what we're going through. I don't even care about what you may face in the future. If God hears from heaven, he can move and send a healing our way. If we can ever get the ear of God as people of God, if we can ever ascribe to ourselves the righteousness of Christ, then the prayers of the righteous availeth much. See, brothers and sisters, the last part of this particular text tells me that he will forgive our sins. And when he forgives our sins, then he will heal the land. And what I like is that my Bible tells me that if God forgives our sins, then he blots them out. Mm. He no longer has any recollection of them. It doesn't matter if you used to be one of the best alcoholics. Y'all looking at me strange. And, and see, this is what I don't understand about saints. is because when we were in the world, we were the best at what we did. If we gave the devil our best, how can we give God any less? Y'all, when I was in the world, I was good at what I did. Y'all looking at me strange. When, 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 when I smoked weed, I was the best at it. Oh, okay, y'all, y'all don't know nothing about that. I, I you know, I, I, I understand. I understand. Amen. We gave the enemy the best that we had. Got ready at 11, got to the club at 12, party till 2, went to the after party, went to the after after party. Got home at, after the sun already came up and then can't come to Bible study for two hours once a week. And I just lost the whole house. Y'all ain't going to help me preach in here now. We gave him everything that we had. We were on the floor doing the WAP. Y'all, y'all, y'all looking at me funny here. I can only talk in my own generation. I, I didn't do the waltz and all that kind of stuff. But, but you know, we did the WAP and the cap. Y'all ain't gonna help me preach up in here today. <laughs> and the cabbage patch and everything else and then come to church and sit there like we've been baptized in prune juice and dipped in lemon sauce 